defensively and just hold up with Roman back there. Yeah, Roman's a huge piece to what we bring going forward, and especially throughout the back. Clean sheets were something that this program was built upon and something that we haven't really been able to get up until the last few games, but we're going to continue to build on that. And with the back line that we have playing as good as we have all year long, that just leads to many successes coming forward. Roman likes to make some crazy runs off the yeah. line. Do you ever have to like, talk him down a little bit or just kind of let him do what he does? Let him do what he does. I got all the faith in the world in Roman. He's a fantastic player, and he helped us so many times just by coming out and getting those balls. It took a whole lot of pressure off of all of us, let us slow the game down, and find a way to get a 1-0 win. A lot of these conference games end up being really close. I mean, Wisconsin, Penn State, all those. I mean, what allows you guys to take the next step to, to close out these teams late in the game? That's something that Frankie Moore talked to us a little bit last year about, that there is no easy Big Ten game. It doesn't matter the circumstance. It doesn't matter who you're playing. Every single Big Ten game, you have to take it as a championship game. And that's something that we've established in the program day in, day out. Understand that Big Ten games lead to the titles and get us to our three goals, which are Big Ten regular season, Big Ten tourney, and national championship. Do you feel like in conference play, you always get every team's best shot? Absolutely. I think in Indiana we always got a target on our back. And that's something that we all know and we we like it. Gets teams best. Uh, Spencer, that was some goal you had. Um, obviously, that was a really tough angle. Can you kind of just walk us through uh, how that kind of came to, came to be? Uh, yeah, I got around the defender on the left and normally I'm kind of known to cross it. So I looked for that, obviously, and uh, T Thomas War made a good run exactly where I would want it, but the two defenders kind of blocked it early, and normally you kind of want to hit that and kind of set up an awkward cross for an own goal maybe, but they blocked that pretty nice. But uh, I saw their goalie kind of take it one step left, and normally you kind of either got to put it bottom right or top left, and saw top left, and luckily I was fortunate enough to put it there. And after 110 minutes on Wednesday, do you, feel, you guys feel like there are any tired legs out there, or do you guys feel like you're ready to go today? No, I mean, I think definitely you're going to have some tired legs just after that, but I think it's all mental when it comes down to it that whether you have that body or not, we work for all those moments where it's 90th minute where we'll do kind of high fitness stuff during practice where it's all kind of a mentality, whether you're tired or not, that we know what we want to have at the end of the year. So to be a little more gassed than you are, push through it. How much did the wind play a factor in that first half? Seemed like you guys just couldn't like find the rhythm. Yeah, that was tough. And just clearing the ball was something that it wasn't like most days. But I feel like it played a big impact in the first half, but we were able to continue that clean sheet and we knew if we were able to get the half that we would pin them in and find a one on one. Spencer, that chance you took at the end of the goal, uh, is that something you do in the first half or did that come after some frustration not being able to break through that you just say screw it, I'm going to take a shot on that? Um, yeah, I mean it's definitely built with confidence, but uh, kind of like Jack said, just getting that rhythm, um, we purposely, so we won the coin toss and kind of chose to have the win the first half just so we could kind of adjust to that and build confidence. So it was a little strategic just to kind of weather the storm the first half, but I would say, yeah, it's a little confidence of taking the chance and just we needed a goal, so luckily I was able to do that for us. And Jack, what goes through your head when you see Spencer take a shot from that angle? We got the best left back in the country for two years in a row. I think that that's something that... Indiana's been so good at. Uh, speaks to Spencer, speaks to Goody last year. Just our whole coaching staff being able to find areas to utilize guys like this. It's something that I see day in and day out of practice. And fantastic that he can do it for us in a 1 0 win. Okay. That was the second straight game you headed the ball off the back line, you know, keep the other team off the board. I mean, what makes you so aware of even deep, even so deep in box? Really, coaching staff, Dana O'Rourke, whenever the keeper goes out, I like to follow take the goal line just uh, for any precautionary reasons but luckily I was in the right spot at the right time and helped the team. Uh, Spencer you guys have the most shots um, by a sizable margin in the Big Ten. Does it ever get frustrating um, not being able to find that uh, even though you guys are generating so many shots? Um, if you asked me two years ago I would say definitely. Um, I think as a younger kid you kind of don't realize whether it's momentum whether it's good shots or bad shots so I think being through kind of some games that we have and the teams we've had in the years past that even if we have good shots, it's kind of making sure you can kind of stay focused and making sure it's good chances and just keep pushing and not get frustrated because that's usually when something silly happens and it's either a counter or some dumb mistake. So for me now, I think it's it's glad that we're getting those chances, but it's a matter of keeping the kind of pressure and gas on, or foot on the pedal just 
go full for it. Since I'm coming, you guys see Goody at all this weekend or what? Yeah, we have seen, seen him a little bit. He was in the treatment area yesterday and just fortunate to hear the stories that he has had with his professional career. It's something that I aspire to do and I know Spencer does as well, go play professional. Just to hear those stories of what it really takes and the, the career that he's had so far, even with college that and a quick transition into the pro, that's something that I idolize and look up to. He hasn't worn the white uniforms at home in a while. Which one do you like better, the white or the red? I like the red. I think my jersey <laughs> fits better. It's more comfortable. <laughs> but look-wise, um, I'd still probably pick the red. <laughs> I actually, last time I think we wore white was against UCLA, and I was lucky enough to score my first college goal that game, so I was looking forward to it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.